So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a updated method on how to get the paramedic belt for GTA. So we are going to be doing the outfit transfer glitch and with the outfit transfer glitch, you do lose all your outfits except for only one. So before you start, you want to put on the outfit that you don't want to lose. Also go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. When you're ready to start the glitch, come to the clothing store, set your spawn location to your last location, hit your pause button, go to online and go to swap character. So you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one. So before you start, make sure you put on the outfit that you don't want to lose. So once you get in here, you want to make sure that your male, which is your main character, he should be on the left side. So if he's on the left side, all you want to do is go over to your second character and it's either going to say edit or delete. If it says delete under your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character. And then two new characters are going to walk in and they're going to see the edit option under your second character. Once you see the edit option, just go ahead and select that. When he or she is going, you're going to get this alert right here that's going to ask you, do you want to copy your stuff over? Just go ahead and accept it. And when your second character comes in here, if it ends up being a male, change it into a female. If it um, was a female, just leave it as a female. Go ahead and save and continue. Make a random name for it. And then take the picture. Once you take the picture and it's loading, it may or may not play the casino DLC trailer. For me, it's not going to play it. But for some of you guys, it may play it. So whether it plays it or not, it's not going to affect the glitch. You're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session. Also, if you don't have any joggers or you don't know what pants you want to use, I'm going to show you guys the component for the black joggers so you don't got to do the job or none of that to get the black joggers. That's why if you don't have no pants or don't know what you want to put it on, I'm going to show you guys the component for the black joggers so you can use that if you don't have any other joggers. So the first thing you want to do when you get spawned inside your new session is open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. If you do see the clothing stores in your session, make your way over to the nearest one. But if you don't see any clothing stores, all you got to do is hit your pause button, go to online and find your new session or just switch sessions. So if you do see the clothing stores, go to the nearest one. And if you don't see any clothing stores, just switch sessions or find a new session and then the clothing stores are gonna be inside of your new session. So when you get inside the clothing store, first you want to go to the top section, go to tuck t-shirts and buy the blue digital t-shirt. I think they might have changed it to number 75 or it's been number 75, I don't remember but just go to the um, top section, go to tuck t-shirts and buy the blue digital t-shirt.
once you got that you want to back out of that stay in the top section go to work jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes field so just come over here to the work jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes field so this one right here just go ahead and buy it once you got that make your way over to the pant section go to the sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants so just come over to the pants go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants now for the shoes i'm not sure what you guys are gonna what pants you guys are gonna be using i'm gonna be using joggers and if you guys are gonna be using joggers i'm gonna give you guys some shoe options so if you want the all white sport shoes with the um socks just go to the high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat so sport shoes with the um socks go to the high heel boots and purchase a deluxe midnight combat if you want the blue deadline shoes it's going to be in boots by the worn black slack boots if you want the green deadline shoes by the ox blood slack boots if you want the orange deadline shoes by the chocolate slack boots i'm going to be using the pink ones so i'm going to um buy the worn ox blood slack boots and that's going to be for the pink tron shoes if you want red tron shoes buy the worn chocolate slack boots and if you want yellow tron shoes buy the black slack boots and once you got whatever shoes you're going to be using just go ahead and take off any earrings that's on your outfit and when you're done come save it when you save it make sure you save it in an empty slot that's on your main character so if the outfit that you didn't want to lose on your main character was on slot 20 you'll just save this in an empty slot once you save it just go ahead and hit your back button go to standard outfits and purchase a chica outfit once you got the chica outfit just go ahead and back out hit your pause button go to online and go into creator Once you get loaded inside a creator, click on create a race and then click on land race. When you get loaded in, click on race details, go ahead and fill out the title and the description. They don't gotta be anything specific, I just put in random stuff for it. After that, go ahead and take the photo and then put the maximum players on two and then put the root type on point to point. Once you have that, just open up your map and then you wanna warp over to the airport. So now when you get to the airport, just hit your back button and then click on placement. And click on place triggers, go ahead and place it down and then back out of that, click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it and then back out of that and then click on the checkpoints. Now for the checkpoints, it doesn't matter how many you place down as long as the race is 0.62 miles or longer. Once you've made it 0.62 miles or longer, just hit your back button twice. So either B or circle and it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you just want to go ahead and test it out. When you finish making the race you're gonna get this completed alert just go ahead and accept it once you get loaded in hit your pause button go to online and go to choose character Once you get in here, all you're going to do is delete your second character. So don't delete your main character by accident. Go over to your second character and delete her. Once you delete your second character, two new characters are going to walk in. And from there, just hit your back button again. So either B or circle and you're going to get taken into single player.
So when you get taken inside a single player, just hit your pass button, go to online, go to play GT online, and just go inside of a invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is going inside of a invite only session. So when you're loading your online session, the first thing you want to do is make sure you save your outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. So make sure you save the outfit that you did not want to lose. And when you save it, just go ahead and save it towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge your other outfits. And also I'm going to take my um, invisible torso off to show you guys that the glitch does work and I'm going to take my paramedic belt off so people don't say that it's fake so i'm just gonna receive the outfit once i put my regular torso back on with the arms and all that and now for the people that don't have any pants they want to put the um paramedic belt on or don't know what to do with it um, if you want the black joggers just come over here to the utility pants and purchase the black high pants yeah purchase the black high pants and these are going to give you the black joggers so once you got the outfit you want to put the paramedic belt on just hit your pause button go to online go to jobs play jobs rockstar created go to versus and start up crooked cops when you start up crooked cops and you're inside the settings make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either a friend or a random so if you don't put the clothing on player owned the glitch will not work so make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either a friend or a random so when you get inside of here into the settings just go down to owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad once and you're gonna have the invisible torso and the paramedic belt now you're not gonna keep the invisible torso because we didn't put the component on to keep the invisible torso this is only for the paramedic belt and your torso is going to come back so this is a video for the invisible torso so when you get inside the job all you got to do is open up your interaction menu go to your styles go to your accessories Put on either a rebreather or an earpiece and then open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. So from here, all you gotta do is just wait a few seconds and then a black t-shirt is gonna appear on your character. If you want, you could try and go save the outfit with the invisible torso and the paramedic belt, but I'm pretty sure you're not going to make it to the clothing store fast enough. So here's the um, different part. To get the paramedic belt on your outfit, all you got to do is join a friend that's in a different session. It doesn't matter what session they're in, just go ahead and join a friend, and then you should have the paramedic belt on. So right here, what I did was just go inside of a new session because I was just testing it out. Because this is actually the second time of me knowing how to save it because I had tried it the first time and I'm gonna put that clip at the end of the video I wanted to um, join my friend to commend me because I had left the job so many times since I didn't know that this method of saving it was patched but to save it all you got to do is join a friend that's in a different session so right now I'm just joining my friend and then you're gonna see that the paramedic belt came onto my outfit without the t-shirt and this isn't fake or anything at all as you can see i did override the outfit that i had with a paramedic belt on it and it had no belt on it no nothing so you can't say it's fake all you gotta do is join a friend that's in a different session and then you're gonna get the paramedic belt on your outfit and i did do this twice the first time i did it i'm gonna put that clip at the end of the video because i was just joining my friend to commend me like i had said earlier and then I had got the paramedic belt on my outfit and then I tried it later on last night and it looked like joining your friend does put the paramedic belt onto your outfit as you can see right here. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and go save it 
and once you save it you can delete the component or you can keep it it's up to you to put it on other outfits but i'm just gonna go ahead and come save it and yeah that's gonna be for this video on how to get the um, paramedic belt the updated version so if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like on it share subscribe and don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on further videos So this right here is the first clip that I was talking about when I had learned how to save the paramedic belt. Now right here, the reason why I'm standing still is because I was thinking about just quitting the game and just leaving and go doing something else because I didn't know that the old method was patched. I had left Crook Cop so many times trying to um, save the belt, but yeah, I, I was just going to join my friend so he can commend me since I had left Crook Cop so many times so I wouldn't get in bad sport already since I just came up. But yeah, I was going to join my friend to commend me and then the paramedic belt had came on my outfit and i wasn't sure if that's how it worked or not and then the um, clip you guys saw earlier was when i did it the second time later at night to confirm it and both tries it worked so i guess that's the new way to uh get the paramedic belt so yeah that's gonna be it for this video make sure that you've already dropped a like though and make sure that you share it when you're done watching it you can comment if it worked but you don't got to it's up to you